Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you're new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it so you don't miss any of our future videos. Today we're taking you on a tour of yet another beautiful home in one of our favorite neighborhoods. We're back to Dixie Springs, showing you another great masterpiece with a huge 49 foot RV garage. Before we get into this tour, I'd like to thank the listing agent, Taylor Yates, and the developer for allowing us to tour this beautiful home. Let's just jump right into it. So. This home has a 49 foot RV garage. It is located on a nice secluded, quiet uh, Dixie Springs street, and it has plenty of room on the side for additional RV parking. The exterior features gray and black brownish tones that fit with the mod modern architecture of this house. Um, it is a four bedroom, two bathroom, 2310 square foot home with a two plus RV garage. And it sits, let me take a look. This property sits on a 0.23 acre lot. It is fully landscaped front and back and the build was just finished in 2021. So this is a brand new home. As we enter, we can see a nice wide open floor plan with 10 foot ceilings and eight foot doors throughout. There is a linen closet or coat closet right off the front entry. And the first room to our right could be used as an office or a bedroom. This home does have a total of four bedrooms and two bathrooms. So this could be used as a closet or a bedroom because it does have a nice large closet, two large windows and a fan ceiling fixture. And the door that opens into the hallway is a French door. I personally think I would probably use it as an office, but if you have the need for an extra bedroom, that could work out great as well. The flooring here is premium carpet and tile that has the wood grain look in a living room or throughout most high traffic areas. And the living room has just a patch of carpet, beautiful fireplace, nice large windows that open to a very private backyard. So let's just start with the living room and the kitchen and then we'll take a look at the rest of the bedrooms. There's a nice um, fireplace. It's a gas fireplace with some stone that matches some of the exterior stone. Nice great mantle that uh, that wood matches um, the cabinets in the kitchen and it has a a somewhat small um, light fixture in the middle. This property has quartz countertops, some really unique looking modern light fixtures, brown cabinets. These cabinets are soft close. I like that backsplash, it's pretty. That's a cool looking backsplash that kind of ties everything together. It does have a Whirlpool gas stove with four burners and a searing burner in the middle. Whirlpool microwave, matching Whirlpool dishwasher. This property has a good size pantry, just a, a corner pantry, nothing too huge. And it has an opening for a standard size refrigerator with some cabinets up above. There is a door that takes you out into the backyard from the dining area. And the dining area has plenty of space to accommodate for a good size dining table. We'll check out the backyard last. So let's just go through and check out some of the bedrooms. I feel like uh, they did a great job with this floor plan and distributed the square footage the way it makes sense. So the second bath is right off this hallway. But before we enter that second bath, there is a linen closet that provides plenty of storage right off the hallway. It's important in what order you close these doors. And I'll let you go first. So there is a hallway bath that doubles as the bathroom for these bedrooms, as well as a guest bath. It is a full size bath that has nice tile above the bathtub that runs almost all the way to the ceiling with a nice niche for some shampoo bottles and soap and a window up above. And here we have a nice wide vanity with a single sink and a large oversized mirror over it and a modern light fixture. So as we look in this direction, we have two bedrooms. 
Bedrooms are, I would say, they're equal in size, wouldn't you say? Oh yeah, yeah. Nice large window that opens to the front of the property, brings in plenty of sunlight. Light fixture with a fan and a walk-in closet in this bedroom. Really good size closet, probably about double the size for the standard closet that you would typically see in a bedroom like this. Yeah. And let's go check out the second bedroom. This bedroom has a double window that opens to the front of the property. Really nice soft pad under this carpet, has a really premium feel. And the closet here is slightly smaller, mm -hmm. but still a good size closet. Ooh, it's magnetic, that's why it's smacked. So now we're back into the living room. The living room is a good size. It's not overwhelmingly large, but it has a really cozy feel, yet the floor plan is still really open. The front hallway has a really nice open feel because the front door has two uh, skinny window right beside it and a nice large window up above that lets in plenty of natural sunlight. There is a thermostat for this zone. I don't know if this property has multiple zones, but there's a thermostat that controls this area, possibly the whole house, we'll find out. As we go down this hallway, let me turn on some more lights. Oh, that's it. So that door will take us to the garage, but we'll check that out in just a moment. There is a laundry room. And I'll let you get in there first so you could have a little more space. The laundry room is equipped with connections for either a gas or electrical dryer. Hookups for the washer, a nice folding area with a unique wood countertop on one side and quartz right beside the washer and the dryer setup. Looks really neat. Here's what we really like about this property. The size of the master is literally the same size as the living room, wouldn't you say? Oh yeah, this is huge. You could comfortably fit a California King, a dresser, a treadmill, I don't know, whatever else. What do people put in their, uh, what do people put in their bedrooms, these huge bedrooms? What do people usually like to have in their huge bedrooms? If you have a huge bedroom and you're watching this video, drop us a comment below and let us know what would you use to fill the space in this bedroom. It has a nice large window that opens to the back and a door that could take you out into the backyard. Let's take a look at the master bath. I feel like this is, the most important piece of any property, in my opinion, is having a really good size master bedroom, good size master bathroom with a great layout and a garage, and the rest of the house kind of falls into place. So here we have a dual vanity, uh, brown cabinets with, um, I would say that's like a naughty elder, like a modern version of it finish. It looks really good. Uh, consistent hardware throughout this home, quartz countertops, Nice uh, standalone soaking tub with some great tile details finishing off behind. And then we have a great walk-in shower with tile that runs almost to ceiling. Uh, and some unique details with the tile around the floor area that allows for things to drain correctly. The smaller tile pieces allow for the water to flow naturally towards the drain. There is a dedicated water closet with plenty of space around the throne. And the master closet is a really good size as well. It has a bump out or a dent that comes out in this direction and then plenty of built-ins and room to put some hangers. What do you think about this master? I think I love it. You like this master bathroom? Mm -hmm. I love how big this, this area is because, I mean, realistically, you spend most of your time between the kitchen, the living room, and the master. The rest of the rooms, they get used, but not, nowhere near as important. So, <laughs> this is the aspect that I'm sure many of you are waiting for in this video. So, this property has an oversized two-car garage with plenty of room all around. Um, the water heater gets its own dedicated shelf and there's also a bypass 
for the water softener that you're most likely going to want if you live in southern Utah because we do have pretty hard water so that would be our recommendation. The RV garage section is I would guess 18 feet wide by 14 tall and 49 deep. Don't quote me on the exact dimensions. I will post the MLS listing in the description below this video, but this RV garage is huge. It has plenty of light, plenty of natural light that comes in through these two large windows, and it also has some really nice built-in ceiling lights that uh, light it up really well. Let's take a step out in the backyard. Now folks, you have to keep in mind that the footprint of a single story, 2,500 square foot home, plus a giant RV garage, does take up a lot of space on the lot. And I feel that this space was utilized correctly because if we go off to the side, this side of the property, and this is where it worked out really well because all of the AC units and all that kind of stuff that takes up room is on the other side of the house. So here you have about 20, I would say 20, 20 to 22 wide by probably 60 feet deep. So you've got tons of park in here and you could equip it with a gate to completely fence off this property. There's a nice block wall that runs all around the perimeter of the back of this property, giving it a nice private feel. And this home is fully landscaped so you don't have to worry about uh, having to come in and do landscaping, which is kind of nice for a new build. Most new builds do not include landscaping. There's a little patch of grass surrounded by some rock and zero scape designs uh, that kind of continue throughout the property. It's a nice patio area that gives you plenty of room for a barbecue and there is a propane stub out on that side of the house as well as an outlet. Let's take a look at this side of the house. Oh, there's a great side yard on this side as well. The setbacks are also because it's a corner lot. So it's yes, it's a corner lot and you need a 25 foot setback from this side of the house as well as a 25 foot setback from the front. So that's where you lose a little bit more of your backyard. But I think the space with this plan was utilized really well and I really like all of the neat touches with the palm trees and desert plants in this backyard. Let us know what you guys think about this property. Drop us a comment in the description below. Let us know why you would or you wouldn't live here. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.